CIT, the Center for Indigenous Theater, is a three-year training institute for Indigenous students. The students start from the beginning in year one, and each year of training builds off of the first year, and then the second year, and then third year. We also offer fourth year training to graduates, and that fourth year training is often built from um, creative energy juices that build up over the last three years. Uh, new plays are being written, video dramas are being created. CIT means inspiration. I see a lot of people come through the program who are at first very shy, and as they go through the terms and years, they become more and more solidified in who they will be as an Indigenous artist. When people come here from small communities, reservations, towns, cities, um, they are engulfed into a different world. I strongly believe that Toronto is its own world. What a CIT has let me do is uh, be in a situation, a place where there's a lot of things I don't have to think about, so I can think about the things I want to think about. And hearing the stories and working with the other students, the other Indigenous students. I have like 26 years of formal education, and there was never another Indigenous person in with, in, with me in any of those times. We are incredible people. We really are. And we have been holding ourselves to the standard of mediocrity that is the colonizer for a very, very long time now and we don't have to anymore. CIT is a place where I can like, I feel like I can really express myself like artistically. Um, I often feel like it's like an escape of mine because I feel like I can't really create the ways I can at CIT anywhere else. So I feel like it's really helped me just like bring out my creative side and like my voice as an artist. Here, they're, they kind of just make you do it and they just make you get into it like you don't really have a choice. So I've just, gotten used to it and I've gotten to really play around with it. While being here at CIT, I've learned to, you know, not be so closed off and you really do have to put yourself out there. Um, the teachers will literally force it out of you if you want to be, you know, scared or not want to do a scene, they will work with you and um, I think that's, that's what I would say uh, most that I've learned is just coming out of your uh, comfort zone and It'll only help you in the end. Expand your knowledge, expand your talents, you know, then take that leap of faith and, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? No matter what theater school you're in, it's, it's such hard work. There's lots of exploration, lots of investigation. There's a lot of self-exploration. Please come and check us out. We have so much to offer. There's a lot of Indigenous programming uh, happening in, in Ontario that we are part of and we welcome you to come and take part in those things with us. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this work. Miigwech. Bonjour. Bidwa a gish go kwe dish nakaz megaze do dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Huron-Wendat, the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Anishinaabe. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech kakamekwe. Hello, welcome to the Center of Indigenous Theatres program info session. My name is Colby. My name is Brad. We are current students at CIT. Miigwech for joining us. Hi, I'm Nolan. Today we're going to answer all your questions about our school and how you can join our classes. Have you thought about pursuing a career in the arts? Please share your stories in the comments below. We'll start with some of the history of CIT, show you what the program and school year may look like, as well as how to apply and get into the program. During our short time today, we will also get to view a clip from our last year's story creation showcase titled Indigenous Creatures, as well as a special guest interview, so stay tuned for those clips. Our program at CIT is a post-secondary program that provides training in acting, voice, and movement. We offer cultural classes that are focused on dance, song, and oral history. We partner with communities and organizations across Canada that we will share different experiences with throughout the year. 
Each year we plan land-based teachings with Dabajmajig storytellers in Manitowaring and Anmatoxi and Nipissing First Nation. Now here's a clip from one of our showcases. <laughs> He said he got lost and he had a whole feast with him that he offered to share with us. So we all sat together and began to eat the food. And when we were all finished and there was nothing left, the man pulled down his hood to reveal the face of a wolf with sharp teeth. I backed away into the corner next to my mother, father and brother. My father pulled out his gun and he aimed it at the wolf and told him to never return again. But the wolf said he'd be back again one day. That day hasn't happened yet. He could return tonight. So eat your food and go to bed. Just got to my place in Ontario. That's great. So great. How's the place? Well, it's not a city for starters. It's a tiny reserve with like 800 people. And the place I'm staying in is freaking holes in the walls. They don't even have a lock on the front door. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fucked. I'm pissed. They can't expect you to live in those conditions. You should ask them to move here somewhere else. No, no. It's fine. I don't want, want to be a bother. It feels too last minute anyway. Plus, they said they're going to fix the place up, so... Well, that's good. Hey, at least you have a classmate as your roommate. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. He, he seems kind of weird. This all just wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah, make, make sure, sure to, to ask, ask about, about a new, a new place, place, though. I will. We'll see what they say. They can't expect any of their students to live like that. It's definitely not what I'm used to. They don't even have a couch. Just a chair in the middle of the room with a white sheet on it. They don't even have Wi-Fi. What the hell? That's ridiculous. I'm pissed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I hope the school's good at least. I really don't know what to expect anymore. Do you want to come home? 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 No, no. I don't think I can. Or, or should, rather. We'll see how things play out. Well, I'd definitely ask if we can move to another place, for sure. I got to get up early tomorrow for work, though. Let me know if you need anything. I love, I love you, you, my baby boy. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll definitely let you know. I love you, Mom. Have a good sleep. Here's the outline of our current school year. Classes are typically start in September. We begin with an orientation period of CIT in Toronto. Students are then enrolled in a full-time training. 
with a winter and spring break-in between studies. That may leave you wondering what this class schedule might look like during the school year. Here's an example. Classes are typically in person, but may be, may be online in some cases. You have a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical, theater, singing, and story creation. You will be on your feet and expected to be actively participating in all classes. Although accommodations can always be made, you can address any access concerns or needs to your education or staff. It's now time for an exclusive CIT interview. My name is Colby Fox. I'm from Money and Lake, Saskatchewan. I am 24 years old and I'm a first year here at CIT. My name is Dane Dillon. I'm in Lake, Saskatchewan as well. First year and I'm 21 years old. What made me want to come to school was I always wanted to become an actor, even if it was just in the theater field. And when, when my friend Keen told me about CIT, I was very excited. I did not know it was theater school at first. I thought I was coming for dancing school. I'm glad I came out here. A lot of new opportunities, but still a big culture shock. I've always been an athlete. I've always been, always had a love for film, movies, and acting in general. So it was more so seeing if I would fit in. And coming to CIT, I had friends here who I grew up with, so that helped a lot. Coming to the city of Toronto was a little nerve wracking, I'll admit, but once you settle in, it's pretty much good. You have a lot of fun. Here, being at the school, you learn so much. It's had a blast so far. I I like how I like how it is here. It's just it's like a family. How welcoming the school is. Like coming into school, my very first day, it was. I'll admit, I was nervous. I was thinking I was just gonna be not ignored in a way, but more so, I was felt like I was gonna be in a shell and just sort of hiding away to the side, but. Literally, once I stepped in through the doors, it was, hello, nice to meet you, and being in a studio with so much creative people and talented people, honestly, it motivates you almost every day. And just, like, like I mentioned before, just like that family feeling, it's, everyone's connected, and if you need a question asked, you pretty much just go and ask someone, and you get to answer. I really like the, the teachers. They're very nice. They're welcoming, they're not too hard on you if you mess something up. They'll, they'll try to explain in the best way they can. When it came to the curriculum though, first thing that stood up for me was stage combat. I did not know that came with theater, so it was pretty fun to learn how to be punched without being punched. Coming to school here, you actually find stuff that you never really learned that you had, and it brings you out of your shell more. Honestly, just expect a lot of fun. Um, coming to the city, you learned so much in the school and it becomes like a second job. It's very fun. You challenge yourself almost every day, which I like to do. Honestly, if you do decide to come here, just give it your all and have a lot of fun. Don't be afraid. It's one thing that held me back for a couple of years and I'm glad I took the chance to come out here. Uh, to all the people that are considering coming to this school, please do. You're, you're going to learn a lot about yourself that you never even knew was there in the first place. Inspired to apply yet? Let us know in the comments. Requirements needed to apply for the Center of Indigenous Theatre are You must identify as a First Nations, Métis, or Inuit. You must be 18 years of age or older. You need a grade 12 English level or higher. Have an interest in performing arts, movement, voice, and dance. As well as an interest in exploring Indigenous culture and knowledge. Now that we've gone over requirements, here are important doc documents that you must submit when applying to the Center for Indigenous Theatre. They include an updated resume, a 500-word essay expressing your interest in theatre, and coming to CIT, two references that can vouch for your interest in theatre, a photocopy of your health card, and an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you with your audition, we created a how-to video. Take a look! Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Center for Indigenous Theatre. Hi, I'm Teresa Cutknife and I'm also a fourth year student at the Center for Indigenous Theatre. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. 
Yes, so first find an age-appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams, do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you? What did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. What to wear? Uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep. And you know, it does. There's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you want to show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it. But you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story, uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all, and uh, I had somebody film it for me. I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you gotta do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head, you can have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you and you can just send that into CIT. Have fun. They are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Want to know what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes and you must actively be looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition costs each year are $3,750. Before you go, we would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you are unable to receive financial support from your band. There are other organizations that you can submit applications to for funding. These include but are not limited to Indispire Foundation, Dreamca <clears throat> Dreamcatcher Charitable, Foundation Métis of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississaugas of Credit, other, other local organizations. If you are in need of funding, application assistance, contact us at the Centre for Indigenous Theatre. We are accepting applications for our full-time program as well as summer intensive now. Reminder, no student has ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also check out our website at indigenoustheater.com. We also would like to thank our founders with their generous support and are able to provide to school for our students, the Department of Canadian Heritage, the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, Misway Beak, Aboriginal Employment and Training, Hastings Park Foundations of Rights and Freedoms, McLean Smith's Fa Family Foundation, Ontario Arts Foundation. Thank you for atten attending CIT's program info session. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and we will get back to you. See, See you soon. soon.